What's up, everybody? Highly combustible here with kind of a uh, what's been going on update. Um, I see a lot of comments that say, Highly, get some sleep. Highly, get some rest. Highly, take care of yourself. See a doctor. You're putting on weight. See a dietitian. A whole bunch of people are concerned. And there's definitely, I was concerned myself there for a while. I had a pain in my stomach. I wasn't sure what it was. The doctors weren't sure what it was. I had to go through a body scan. And then I was like, oh, great. Here we go. It's probably going to be some kind of crazy cancer or something. So I was psyching myself out about it as well. Um, I got my, I've got. been to every kind of doctor you can imagine now, sleep doctors, therapists, every kind of doctor that's out there, a lot of different scans being done to my body. Everything has come back cancer-free. Everything has come back with no problems. Um, stress is a big part of the whole weight gain thing. Since I got back, I've been stressed. Mom and dad were in a very stressful relationship for the both of them. Neither one of them was truly happy. And it, there was two years of unhappiness in a house where I was living and it was hard to watch. And every day I would get stressed out. Mom and dad are okay now. They've decided to separate. Dad lives across the country and I know he's, gonna, he's happier. I know mom's happier, so I'm okay with that. Now, things around here have slowed down a little bit before everything's so fast paced we got to do this we got to do that we got to do all of these things we got to be over here and see these people or go over here and see these people and the american life is not what thailand life was thailand life was all of my time belongs to me i get to sleep when i want i get to eat when i want i get to work when i want and it was no stress. It was a zero stress-free zone. But since leaving Thailand and coming back, it has been a very stressful time. Uh, I am happy to be back around my family, obviously. I love them to death. But there was some stressful things going on. And then add, add to that the fact that I thought that I had some horribly wrong with my body. And it, it got real, real bad at a while. And, and for a while. And we were, when we were living in the little two-bedroom apartment, it's very, very expensive to live here. We were all crowded on top of each other. There was nowhere for anybody to escape. Now we live in a house. We all have separate spaces. We got the studio for reactions. Things are looking up. I definitely have to say I appreciate you to all of the people out there that were concerned, that are concerned. I can tell you it's nothing to worry about. I'm still talking to doctors. Uh, the next one is like a sleep study or something like that that I have to do to where we see if I have sleep apnea. There have been, there was there for a time, there was nothing but stress where it was scary for me because the pain was there and I didn't know what it was. We still didn't know what it was, but as long as once my mind knows that, hey, they say everything is functioning right, everything is working right. I don't know, since I hit 40, I kind of feel like my body's falling apart, but I'm getting older. It comes with the territory. Um, to top everything else off, uh, I went maybe a month ago to the doctor and, uh, I was told that my problems that I had with my sinuses were allergies. And then weeks later it was worse. And I went back and they said, oh, it was just the allergies flaring up. And they gave me some different kind of allergy medicine and some eardrops because one of my ears was, and then I went to urgent care the other day and they said it's a full, like a really bad sinus infection and two ear infections. And so there's a lot going on the last month. That's why I've been looking a little sick because I have been a little sick, but I'm on my antibiotics now. Everything is taken care of. We are getting better every single day. So yeah, that's, there's been some things going on. Now me and mom have a little bit more time. Now that she's in a much happier zone, we can slow things down a bit. We have time for exercise. We have time to go here and there, but in our own time. It's okay for me to tell her, hey, I'm going to take a day off and stay at home because I, I got things that I want to do for me. That's totally, I'm getting my rest. That's what I need people to know is that I'm getting my rest. Secondly, I wanted to say I definitely appreciate everybody out there that's left comments, everybody out there that worries for me, um, everybody out there that's just leaving me amazing comments with your own stories, especially on some of the more need to know like we need to discuss this topic there needs to be more awareness we just did the i am dyslexic uh video yesterday and it, 
all of the comments were just people saying how they related and i definitely appreciate it like it's very cool on this side for me to get to know you all a little bit better and to let me know on a lot of situations that i'm not on my own with the way that i think um I just kind of wanted to put this out there because there have been a lot of comments. There has been a lot of questions. I am doing everything in my power. You guys just keep filling me up with all of these kind comments down inside of the comment section and we're going to be good. That's my uplift for the day. Every morning I get to wake up and look through the comments and see what kind of things people said. And on the whole, you guys are all super, super caring individuals. And I really do appreciate you for being here. So that's just a little update about what I'm going through. Uh, what I have been going through since I got back is still stressful because I'm still separate from the missus who's around the world and we're trying to figure out things with that and it's, it's it gets difficult life is hard sometimes everybody has their problems I do have my problems it's not all just fun YouTube things going on uh, though I wish that were the case keep on watching the videos keep on sticking around uh, I appreciate you if you worry but I have to put some I have to put the worries at ease everything is okay for right now if you guys got any more questions leave them down below I'll most certainly put out another video if there's enough of them uh, I will try to answer them inside the comments section you guys be happy healthy safe I seriously do love each and every one of you to the moon and back uh, I'll talk to you on another one very very soon peace